What exactly did the police sergeant mean it's nice to have a celebrity in the station for a change? Apparently, you're now trending on Twitter. There's even a hashtag named after you. At middle class phone rage. <laughs> You've seen this, John? Yeah, no, everyone's seen it. You're a celebrity. It's marvellous. Say hello to Daddy, gorgeous. Can I be of assistance? Yes. How much is this saucy little mix? A uh, hundred thousand pounds. A hundred thousand pounds for a bloody card. Jesus Christ. Shh. Jesus Christ has nothing to do with it. Last time I looked in the Bible, he didn't have to drive through central London in Russia. I do. Well, Pursuit does have a point. There are people starving in the world. If the pair of you continue to be quite so dull, I might just go ahead and buy two. Charles is right, John T. He will need two. One for his body and the other for his colossal ego. Hello, boys. I'm ready. Playtime's over, Charles. Say goodbye to your friends. Right. Pursuit? Tomorrow morning, Sam Walter is my boss, and now, thanks to my endorsement, your new boss has got a special assignment for you. I'll take it for my wife. Perfect choice. <laughs> I remember, he doesn't suffer fools gladly. Oh, you report for work at nine sharp. Don't be late. It might be worth saying something here about the Walters Media Group, a tabloid news empire founded by Lord Sam Walters, a new Labour peer of the realm. Itchy was the publishing director of some of Walters' biggest selling tabloid titles, one of which I was about to start working for as a trainee journalist. He wants a job reference, does he? Well, you can tell the Prime Minister's office that Smith is an illiterate little weasel who could barely spell his name when he first started working here. He's a pathological liar, and he's about as trustworthy as an Iranian election ballot count. In my view, he's the ideal candidate for the Conservative Party's new communications director. Lord Walters, Mr Delange. The car will be here in half an hour for your Clarence House appointment. If you believe David Icke's theory that the human race is controlled by a secret cabal of interdimensional, shape-shifting lizard people, then Walter's career has most definitely been founded on eating mice for breakfast.